how do you unleash the power of your orgasm orgasmic meditation is an ancient science it's an art to achieve a state of perfected satisfaction and mental equilibrium orgasm is the highest experience the human mind can have many people had different opinions and point of views but the very reason that you exist is due to that orgasmic experience or your sexual drive defeating your sexual drive or your need for orgasm is against the natural laws of nature and your evolution the intelligence or the conscious intelligence energy within your body always looks to move forward in the form of becoming better than it is it's in a state of trial and error and reproduction is a part of the cosmic intellectual play so we must clearly understand that renouncing or controlling or getting rid of your orgasm or your sexual desire is no big achievement certain people have certain point of views but majority of the human race accepts and looks to experience the orgasm and reproduce and move forward with life so let us look at some simple methods on how to unleash the orgasmic power when i say orgasmic power i mean through pure mental concentration and focus you're able to play with that orgasmic experience you can arouse the feeling and you can move the feeling around your body in and out and you can control it and become master of it and exist in joy and when you get involved in the act of having or making love to your life partner you can experience better and lively energetic orgasms because you have a proper control or a conditioned mind to understand and experience that experience it will not just come and go you can retain that experience within you so one of the key methods to bring about the orgasmic trance is to achieve a state of relaxation that is all your muscles in the body must be relaxed first in order for your mind to stay relaxed so you must sit in a quiet place in a chair on your bed or cross legged on the floor wherever which it makes you feel comfortable it can be indoors in your room or even outdoors outdoors is preferred because you're with the sounds of nature and indoors you want to have your privacy yes indoors is also very very good you must understand meditation and self hypnosis are actually the same thing for people there are certain segments of society which want to move the so called the word meditation into a spiritual aspect and self self hypnosis into more of a scientific medical aspect but in reality both are the same both lead to the same experiences and the experiences there's no right and wrong experience every experience is your choice which is brought about your own thought process so when one person says my experience is higher than yours i have achieved this state of awareness which is higher than yours well it's very debatable because every human being is conditioned to experience things or the thoughts or their feelings in a different way so you must go with your natural state of what's comfortable what you are comfortable with not what the other person is comfortable with only then you can achieve a state of 
pure awareness, that is self-awareness. So all these subjects come under the art of self-awareness. Now, once you sit in a quiet, silent place, one of the easiest ways you can calm and relax your mind is to relax your body first. In order to do that, you must take deep breaths. Inhale deeply and exhale at least two to three times, preferably five times. So once you go into the deep inhaling and exhaling experience, you will feel the air filling up in your entire body. And naturally, the mind is programmed, evolutionarily the mind is programmed to relax. When you take deep breaths because you're filled with oxygen and you exhale a lot of carbon dioxide outside and it stimulates your entire nervous system and your muscles naturally go into a relaxed state. Then once you pass into a relaxed state, you have to activate the pineal gland, pineal gland in your brain. So how that meditation takes place is to focus your attention in the point which is in between your eyebrows. That is right above your nose. You get a point in between your eyebrows. That's what people refer to as the third eye. But once you place your attention there, what happens is the brain, the mind automatically collapses from a state of normal awareness and moved words, an inward awareness, or becomes focused and concentrated. It's difficult initially, but if you practice three, four times, let's say for a week, just place or just place your fingertips on the point in between your eyebrows, apply light pressure, and allow your focus to be on that pressure point. And once you become accustomed, you don't have to put that pressure. Naturally, you can create that pressure in between your eyebrows. And once your thoughts start flowing in between your eyebrows with the state, the relaxed state of the muscles and your mind, you start passing into a state of self-hypnosis or relaxation or superconsciousness or a meditative state, whatever you call it. Altered consciousness and normal consciousness, I mean, there's no differentiation there. There are certain meditation practices which say, which say, you know, altered consciousness is different. They want to see things as it is. I mean, the brain creates the world the way you see it, the way it wants to see it. For example, if you're colorblind, let's say if you lack the certain cells in your eyes which sees colors, you will not see colors, you see black and white. <laughs> so your brain is programmed to see in that situation of black and white. So when they say you see things as it is, it's not a reality because your mind creates the world around you and you see things the way the brain, your brain is wired to see the world. Sometimes you don't have control over it. And the whole point of these meditation exercises is to become self-aware. So once you become self-aware, then you can train your brain to see the world the way you want to see it. So that's the slight point of difference. Now, once you take the awareness in between your eyebrows, you have to just feel the energy flowing in between your eyebrows. Keep the attention there, be focused. And once you achieve the state of focus, it'll take a few minutes, sometimes five minutes, 10 minutes, but don't let go of the concentration in between your eyebrows. And once you achieve the state of concentration, from the point of the eyebrows, you place your attention, your attention from on the point of your eyebrows, and from there, you slowly direct the attention to your testicles or your sex organs or your vagina I mean it doesn't matter your sex organs you just turn your attention away from the point of your eyebrows towards your sex organs and once you do that you'll automatically start feeling a tingling sensation 
right from the bottom of your body to the up. That is your testosterone starts working, your brain becomes sexually activated, blood starts flowing to your sex organs, and you start feeling a sense of sexual desire slowly arousing within you. And this is the orgasm does not just happen like that. It's a progressive state. It happens from level one, two, three, just slowly progresses. It's a climax. Like you say, we are in the sexual experience state and you're having sex with your loved one, you gradually go into climax. Similarly here, you gradually go into climax. So when you go into those such states, you have a lot of visions, a lot of if, lot of visions flowing. I mean, can be of a loved one, the pe people you like, and a lot of sexual expressions. You know, I mean, it can be anything. I mean, a lot of images will flow. I mean, so you should clearly accept and observe those images, the mental formations, which arise when you're aroused. So in the state of arousal. You allow all your sexual thoughts to flow in and out of you and you understand them. So while understanding them, your sexual energy keeps on arising. Sometimes you can have the vision or the visualization of having sex itself and be aroused. It's your choice. So the vision and hold on to the vision, your mental images. And slowly, once you keep observing, your mental images become apart from your self-awareness. Sometimes the mental images drop or the mental images retain, but you become the observer. And you're observing that orgasmic experience. Your body is in joy and you are in total ecstatic joy in that orgasmic experience. And if you use certain auto-suggestions in this state, you can reprogram your mind to be and function more effectively in the actual sexual act. Some people in the actual, when they're having sex with a life partner, they lose touch with their conscious self or their functioning self. They become wild or they don't know what they're doing. So all those things happen due to the lack of self-awareness the power to control yourself, you control your mind and your muscles, your nervous system, all of that. So with these type of practices, you are in full control of that orgasmic experience and you can have great fulfilling sex with your life partner if you practice it. So keep on practicing, focus on the attention in between the eyebrows. Then after that, move that attention to your area of your sex organs. Allow the energy to be filled within your body. The mental images will start flowing sometimes. If you not flow, it doesn't matter. But don't get distracted by those images. Just keep your attention on your sexual organ in a relaxed, meditative, self-hypnotic posture. So, I will be back next week. Please do subscribe to my channel to mow and lightning videos like this so we keep ourselves well informed to live a better life and a happy life thank you very much i will see you in my next video please do subscribe if you have anything to ask me leave in the comments i'll be more than happy to reply thank you i look forward to seeing you again